What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for MLB Wednesday, April 26th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top picks for today's MLB slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, we have an eight game MLB slate tonight. So let's take a look at the pitcher position. So I like two pitchers on the slate here tonight. I like Patrick Sandoval with a nice pitching advantage here over a low salary batting team, the Oakland Athletics. Patrick Sandoval only giving up a .540 OPS versus righties, facing eight righties here tonight. And on top of that, the, uh, the Athletics have only hit seven out of his last 35 pitches. That's a 200 batting average. So he's 9,200 FanDuel salary. 2700 less on DraftKings. So I love that DraftKings price. And he's averaging 23 fantasy points per game on the season. So not exactly the fantasy point average you want to see for his price tag. But he has an ERA of 3.38. Record is 1-1. One one, pitching an average of 90 pitches per game. Now, I do think he can put up 35-plus fantasy points here tonight. He has a fantastic pitcher versus batter matchup. So, I think he's going to go a little bit under the radar here tonight. So, I like Patrick Sandoval here versus the Oakland Athletics. Now, if you're not feeling Patrick Sandoval, take a look at Drew Smiley. And he's got a nice pitching advantage here over the San Diego Padres, only giving up a .552 OPS versus righties, facing six righties here tonight. And the Padres have only hit 17 of his last 86 pitches. It's a 198 batting average and a huge sample size. Only 8,800 FanDuel salary, 15, uh, 15 less on DraftKings. Averaging 32 fantasy points per game on the season. Has an ERA of 3.13. Record is 2-1. Pitching an average of 88 pitches per game. He put up 63 fantasy points last game. Now he's got a great batter, uh, pitcher versus batter matchup. So I like Drew Smiley here versus the San Diego Padres. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And then we'll send you $25 PayPal. So it's that easy. And we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, let's take a look at the catcher first base position. I like Paul Goldschmidt. Now, although the splits aren't so great here, uh, he's batting to his weak hand and um, Anthony Descalfani is pitching to his strong hand. So the splits aren't good here, but the reason that I like this pick is because Paul Goldschmidt is 14 for 27 versus Descalfani. It's a 519 batting average and a 1.520 OPS. Two home runs, five doubles, seven singles, and a huge sample size. So he's 3,400 FanDuel salary, 2,600 more on DraftKings, averaging 11 fantasy points per game on the season. He has a batting average of 287. So I like Paul Goldschmidt here versus Anthony Descalfani. Okay, let's take a look at the second base position. I like Jeff McNeil with a 53% batting advantage over Mackenzie Gore. Jeff McNeil batting a .728 OPS versus lefties. Mackenzie Gore pitching his worst ball by far. 
to lefty batters. 70% worse than his other pitches, giving up a 1.389 OPS versus lefties. So he's averaging nine fantasy points per game on the season. He's 2,900 FanDuel salary, 1,000 more on DraftKings, averaging a 282 batting average. So I like Jeff McNeil here versus Mackenzie Gore. Okay, let's take a look at the third base position. I like Wilmer Flores. He's got a massive pitch uh, batting advantage, 124% batting advantage here over a low salary pitcher, Steven Matz. Wilmer Flores is batting 43% better versus lefty pitchers, batting a 1.006 OPS versus lefties. Steven Matz, he's pitching 81% worse to righties as he does lefties, pitches his worst ball versus righty batters giving up a 1.060 OPS versus righties. And Wilmer Flores, he started off pretty nice here versus Mats. He's two for four with a 1.850 OPS. One of those hits is a home run. Only 2,800 FanDuel salary, only 500 more on DraftKings. So I like that price on both sides. Averaging nine fantasy points per game on the season has a batting average of 284. So I like Wilmer Flores here versus Steven Matz. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30 day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, let's take a look at the shortstop position. So here's a stud pick. I like Wander Franco with a 48% batting advantage over Hunter Brown. Wander Franco batting a .910 OPS versus righty pitchers. Hunter Brown giving up a 1.667 OPS versus switch hitters. Now, Wonder Franco is 0 for 2 versus Brown, but the splits are pretty good here, and he's 3,700 FanDuel salary, 1,600 more on DraftKings, averaging 13 fantasy points per game on the season. He has a batting average of 315. So I like Wander Franco here versus Hunter Brown. Okay, moving on to the outfield position. Home run hitter, you got Mike Trout, who's in a great spot here versus a low salary pitcher, Luis Medina. Uh, but if you're looking to save some salary here, uh, there's three picks that I like right in a row. We got James Outman. Brandon Nemo and Ian Happ. So I like all three of those outfielders, all right around 33 to 3,400 FanDuel salary. James Outman would be my DraftKings play at only 4,000. I think he's a good value play over there. He's got a 55% batting advantage over a low salary pitcher, Ronzi Contreras. James Outman. He's averaging 14 fantasy points per game on the season. He has a batting average of 316. So I think he is certainly underpriced, especially on DraftKings. Fantastic matchup. So I like James Outman here versus Ronzi Contreras. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smiggity smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. 
Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this MLB slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.